Hey everybody, Patty from Mountain Sledder. You might be wondering what is this doing next to that over there. We're not sure either, but we're gonna find out today. We're trying a social experiment. Can sleds hang with snow bikes in the backcountry? And vice versa. So we're gonna find out. This is my friend Brian, he's a snow bike rider, sledder, and a dirt bike rider. And I'm gonna try and hang with him through the trees and we're gonna see if he can climb along up the hills with me and see how it goes. Alright buddy, and I have a feeling the first thing we're going to learn today is that Brian is going to have a bit of a challenge keeping up on the trail. Because that Yamaha 450F that he's riding is not geared to keep up with my CVT transmission here and my 800cc of unbridled Canadian Austrian horsepower. As soon as we get up into some whoop single track, which I know we will, I think his uh, maneuverability on that thing is going to take over. Probably just be like riding a whoop section on a supercross track or something like that. Oh, here he comes. He's going on a good clip. Yeah, buddy. Now this trail's in pretty decent shape. It's got a few whoops, like that little section there. But you can kind of just cruise right over them. So I'm not totally sure how that's impacting the ability of the snow bike to keep up. But uh, I'm definitely traveling on faster here on the sled. But really, I mean, we're riding the trail. Who cares? You know, we're gonna get there. We're gonna have fun once we get up there. And who goes faster on the trail really has very little bearing as to whether two different modes of transportation can exist together. Woo! Yo, hey how's it going? Good. You're moving pretty quick. Yeah, the whoops, uh, they're just kind of fun. <laughs> just keep her to the bar and lean back. Perfect. Okay, we're on to phase two. We're getting into the single track now. Oh, just go ahead, just shortcut right there, shall you? Well, I think we're gonna see a difference here. Like, this is gonna be kind of like a little single track moto course for Brian. Look at him, he's going off it like nothing. I'm gonna be kind of relegated to sticking to the uh, main trail here. It's, it's pretty tight trees down here where we are. I mean, you could ride it open, but not quickly. And we want to get up into the fun stuff, so we're going to keep going. It's pretty neat to see, actually, that the snow bike just kind of goes right off the trail, like, no problem, wherever he wants. Smooths the trail right out. I could ride there, but it's going to be a little more uh, tech or whatever, popping in and out of this hard pack track into the stuff, stuff back and forth. It's definitely not going to be quick. Okay, we're up here where the rubber meets the road. We're getting up into the tree line here, so it should be pretty fun riding. And uh, snow seems pretty good, so it's gonna be fun. You know, we're kind of doing this experiment not to see if you can ride a snow bike and a sled together and have a good time. Obviously, you can. But we just wanna see uh, what differences there's gonna be in what kind of terrain we choose, um, how we ride it, you know. Obviously, Brian's gonna be a little better in the trees and. I'm going to try and follow him just to see how it goes for the experiment, but you know, realistically, I'm going to get stuck a bunch and whatever, that's how it goes. In the end, it's just about, you know, having a good time and, and compromising um, in terms of what kind of terrain you want to ride or what's best suited for your particular vehicle you're riding that day. And of course, you can compromise and do it and have a good time with a friend. All right, we're up here where it starts to get pretty fun. We've got some nice tree line terrain here to ride. As you can see, it's been snowing a little bit. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little test is here to see how it goes riding in these trees. They're pretty well spaced, so I shouldn't have too much trouble, but I'm sure Brian will just gonna thread the needle here and there and get me into all kinds of trouble on my sled. But um, yeah, we'll see if we can find a good compromise here between uh, open trees enough so that I can have a good time on my sled 
and tight enough that he's uh, enjoying himself as well. Okay, here we go. We're heading off trail here now. Oh, I'm in trouble already. Doing my barant now. Oh, go. Well, that didn't last very long, did it? He's that way. Snow bike one, sled zero. Now I've caught myself a ski grab here. I'm gonna need a minute. I guess that snow bike one, sled one then. Yeah. And hopefully you don't mind the sound of heavy breathing because I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of that going on today. So it's fairly open trees here, reasonably open anyways. Brian can have a heck of a good time in here. Whoa, and me too. Oh, what do we have here? Looks like that evens the score. Snow bike two, sled two. Eventually he's going to follow the track and realize I'm stuck right here. Then he's going to come help me dig. Oh, there's a tree right there. In case you didn't see that one. Somebody's been in here on a snow bike recently because I can see a skinny little track that runs through here. So does that make this more snow bike train than sled train? I don't know. Yeah. Now I like it when it gets a little bit more open. So I really enjoy opening up the throttle a bit and kind of getting some carves in in here and I can't really get any rhythm happening here. So, typically this right here is a bit tighter than I would like to ride on my snowmobile. Oh, that thing sounds cool. Oh, I'll just go right up this gully, he says. Not this guy. Well, he made that look easy right there. He just side-held right along that thing. Here I am like a doofus. Stuck. Mostly due to lack of talent. Okay, so we pretty much established that a snow bike is gonna run circles around a snowmobile in this kind of terrain right here where we've got steep trees, not terribly consequential, but you know, if I were to roll down into some trees, that's something I'm thinking about while I'm riding. And you know, snow biking crews right through this stuff. You know, even in fact, there he goes. And here I am stuck. You know, if this is the type of riding that you want to do on your snow bike, uh, steep side hill trees, probably we're going to want to go out with a group of snow bike riders. And that way, you guys can tackle the same train you want to ride, have fun not limited by one another. This is all, of course, skill dependent, right? You might have a really skilled rider on a sled that can hack this type of stuff, you know? Look at that, eh? Piece of cake. It was like, I was working the side of the gully, came up around a group of trees and there was a down tree, like, a foot off the snow all the way around the out and I look up and it's like looking into that. Maybe after exploring that zone, thing about a lunch, some water, maybe top up some fuel for me. Sounds good. One little benefit to having 10 gallons on board here. Yeah, for sure. 
40 metric liters. There'll be no topping up for this guy today. Onwards! I'll follow you! Okay. I don't know where this path is going, but it's sweet. Now this is pretty fun. It's a little bit of wide open. It snows pretty good. Not too many tracks underneath there. And there he goes. Not so much the same with old two skis here. I'm somewhat subject to the terrain, I guess you could say. Still fairly open down here. I'm not really gonna open it up and have a super good time on my sled. Whereas this is pretty primo snow bike terrain right here. If you like going fast through the trees anyways. So what have we learned really so far? Unless, uh, you know, talent aside, sleds can't hang with the snow bikes in the really steep side hilly treed terrain. Or maybe they can, but I can't and it's not that much fun. Now, we've gone into some stuff like this. Oh, we've been having a hell of a good time. Both of us riding this kind of mixed open stuff. And um, so this is a good compromise, this kind of train right here. We can both have fun. Nobody's gonna hold the other guy back. Which as we know, when you're out having a good day in the mountains, everybody should kind of have the same skill level, you know, to a degree or else you're going to end up waiting or worse, putting somebody in a position they don't feel comfortable in. Now, haters, we know you're out there. You're going to comment, oh, you can ride a bike wherever you want. You can ride a sled wherever you want. That's not the point of this. We're just seeing what it's like a couple of dudes on a ride this is not the be all end all discussion on the matter but this is what we're learning for ourselves now we keep getting sucked into this creek and i feel like one time it's not going to work out so like right down there maybe it's not really where i want to go I mean, I don't like you that creek. It's not filled in enough. It's only January and there's open bits. So I kind of want to stay out of there. So I'm going to stick to the side hill kind of area and through here, hopefully. Oh, check me out, Barant. Oh, I guess that makes four for the sled, two for the bike. I'm starting to get a little bit tired trying to keep up with the snow bike down here in the trees. I think we've established that I can ride with uh, Brian today, but I'm holding him back. So I don't want to keep doing that. We're going to head up into the Alpine and see what we can do up there. Alrighty, here we are. Just had lunch. We're about to get up into the Alpine. It's still nice and sunny, so we'll be able to see where we're going, what we're doing. And we'll be able to open this 800cc pony up as well as that 450cc <laughs> other pony. Okay, here we are. We're up in the Alpine. It's beautiful. Now this type of stuff here, open enough for me. Probably pretty fun for Brian. That's pretty fun. I could ride that all day. Now, I don't want to drop down too low, but it's hard to stop. It's so fun. Well, now that we're out here in the open Alpine, I'm having a lot more fun. It's less hard work. It's more momentum and keeping going. 
I'm enjoying that. Gee. Oh, looks like he is too. I can't believe nobody's been up on over here. I feel like the answer is, it doesn't matter what you ride, whether it's snow bike or a sled. It's pretty good. It's pretty fun. It's very, very fun. We're having fun. Look at that. Very it's not bad. Do you want to go back to those downhillers over there? That was nice. That was cheesy, but it was fun. I don't care. We had a beauty day. It was a lot of fun. Shredding with my friend Brian. And uh, I think what we learned is that, yeah, you can ride a sled and a snow bike together. You can have a good time. Snow bike can help you get out a little hole like uh, I just experienced there by side hilling out and putting a nice down track in for you to climb up. They both kind of shine in different terrain, but you can compromise or do a bit of each or find something that uh, suits you both like we did today and have a hell of a good time. So don't hesitate. Don't hold back. Get out there with your snow bike buddy and go for a rip. Woo. Bikers are people too. <laughs> Look at that view. Beautiful. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed our little video. Please leave a comment below and we'll see you next time.